going on guys welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in today we're going to be going over the five budget friendly performance mods you can do to your Camaro stay tuned Alrighty guys, so to start things off, we're going to just jump right in with the cold air intake. Now most people do this mod first. Uh, I went with the Rotofab dry air filter cold air intake for mine. Uh, not really any preference between the dry and the oiled, but uh, I was able to get this from somebody who was selling it on eBay from a wrecked vehicle, and I got this for $200. This MSRP's at $400. 89 dollars so I saved quite a bit of money doing it that way and there wasn't anything wrong with it at all. I was basically brand new when I got it so um, that is my first recommendation I guess for performance mod is going with the cold air intake there's many different options GM even has their own version that you can get for your car as well but a lot of people go with this Rotofab it's got really good reviews and I recommend it for you as well LT2 intake off of the new C8 Corvette. This has been a pretty popular mod for Camaro owners uh, since the release of the Corvette and I think this is absolutely great. Um, you can gain about 10 to 15 horsepower if you um, decide to port the intake hole but if you don't you can still gain about 10 horsepower. 15 is like the max that you could get if you decide to port this but I got this off of Facebook for $165 it retails stock for 220 but a lot of companies have gotten kind of hip to this and uh, you can buy one that's already ported and stuff for around like 450 500 bucks if you decide to go that route I did not want to do all that I debated on porting it myself but uh, at the moment I haven't and it still is very responsive and you can definitely feel um, the difference compared to the stock LT1 intake so this is a great mod. It's budget friendly if you decide to get one from GM, but uh, either way it's a great mod and I think you guys should check it out as well. Alright, so next up is a mod you can't really see just because they're down in there, but is headers in an X-Pipe kit. Now, most people want to do an exhaust like an axle back or something. I haven't gotten that far yet just because that's a little more expensive than something like this. But these require more work obviously. So uh, I went with Speed Engineering 1 and 7 8 inch headers and an X-Pipe kit from them as well. These are pretty affordable for the price and you know I haven't had any issues with them. Some people have issues with it here hitting the steering, sh uh, steering shaft and stuff like that. and. Uh, they've been great for me. I've had them on the car for probably a year and a half now and I have nothing but good reviews to say about them. I ended up going with the spark plug wires from them and the O2 sensor as well. Uh, O2 extension wiring harness I should say. And then uh, I went with the GM gaskets. So you can order that all through their website. As far as the pricing on all this, the headers was just about $400. And then for the X pipe kit, it was 220. Uh, 400 bucks is with everything that I added with the wires and gaskets and stuff like that. So I think they retail like 380, and then all the added stuff is a little bit more expensive to add on. But there are things you do kind of need. You really do need the spark plug extension wires, and uh, it's nice to just change out the gaskets for factory ones as well. And then you will, I think you only need one O2 sensor extension but it comes in a pack of two anyways so you do end up needing those as well but I have a whole video on those if you guys want to check that out but uh, these were a great mod and for the price it's really affordable for somebody who's kind of trying to mod their car for performance on a budget Last up 
on the list is a flex fuel sensor which will allow you to run E85. Now if you do everything that I've said so far in this video you're going to need a tune after it anyways. So doing that E85 flex fuel sensor is one more thing you can add into that tune and it really will help you gain some more horsepower being as uh, E85 has a higher ethanol content and stuff like that. And so um, it's really affordable. I got mine from SMG Speed and it was uh, $240 which is not too bad. It's a little expensive just for a sensor and such. But what you'll gain from having that E85, especially if you're going to like track use or anything like that, it's really worth it in the long run. So uh, for $239, it's really not that bad. There's a couple different companies that sell them as well. I think they're all about the same price, but still, it's it's not it's a pretty budget-friendly mod as well, and it's super easy. You just plug it into your uh, fuel line right there, run the wire, stuff like that. I have a video on that as well. All these mods I have videos on. These are stuff we did last summer to kind of build up the car and get the YouTube channel growing. So if you guys want to check out anything as far as install videos for this for these mods, be sure to check out my Camaro build series as well. Now one honorable mention I want to say before we wrap things up is a BMR lowering suspension kit. Um, they're not, it's not really a performance mod, but it kind of will lower your stance and give you a little bit more aero, I think, or something like that. But either way, it doesn't really fit into an appearance mod or performance, so I'm just going to kind of throw it in here as an honorable mention. But these are really affordable at, at $199.95, so just under $200, bucks, and uh, they're really easy to install, and it just makes it look so much more aggressive when it's going down the road and stuff, being a little lower than it is stock. Um, they're a little bit more aggressive, but like I said, if you're going to be tracking the car and all that, these are really good for cornering and all that as well. So it's a nice little mod that I wanted to throw in here. It's kind of an honorable mention. Alrighty guys, so to close things out, we went over the five budget-friendly performance mods you could get for your Camaro. Pretty much everything I've done and the fact that everything's under 500 bucks is just it's just really a budget-friendly beginner's performance mod kit, guys. Um, having the Speed Engineering 1 and 7 8 inch headers, the Speed Engineering X-Pipe kit, the Rotofab cold air intake, the GM LT2 intake, and even a flex fuel sensor to have E85 are all great performance mods that you can do to start off your build. And even adding that honorable mention of the suspension just gives it a more aggressive ride height and everything like that. So if you guys are interested in any of these, be sure to check them out. Um, if you need install help, I have all these videos uploaded in, on my Camaro build series. And so uh, be sure to check those out if you need any help. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please give me that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we're so close to 1,000 subscribers. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next one.